Folks, if you missed our show last week, we talked about the transition periods that turkeys go through. Pick a state, pick a date. We got the United States broke down in three zones. You tell me what zone you're in, what dates you want to hunt the turkey, and we're going to figure out exactly how to hunt those turkeys. And today we're going to talk about transition period number one. Harold, when these turkeys are in their transition, they're coming out of their fall mode into their spring mode. It is, to me, it's one of the most difficult times to hunt turkeys because we grew up in Kentucky where we were in transition period number three when the season opened. I never saw a transition period number one until I started hunting Alabama and Florida and I didn't know how to hunt those turkeys. So we got all this big flock of turkeys together out there. How do you call up those turkeys? Well, what you have to keep in mind in, when the turkeys are in the winter mode, the gobblers most of the time together and the hens together. And then when they get in that first transition, they sort of get following each, the gobblers get to follow the hens. They get to hearing all them hen sounds and they get in them in the mode you know, of the mating season coming in. So they get to roosting close to them and get to following them. So what you got to remember, uh, at that time of year, turkeys don't gobble as much. If they do, it'll be all at the same time on the roost. Uh, it'll be multiple gobblers gobbling at the same time. And uh, then when they hit the ground, most of the time it's no more quiet, gobbling. Don't it's quiet, it's strutting in. And these gobblers strut and follow these hens. And they'll just, wherever the hens go, the gobblers strut and follow them. But one of the things I found out here when, in following those turkeys is occasionally they'll shot gobble. This is a good time to use your crow call, isn't it? It's a good time to use some of your shot gobble call, like your crow or something, a pillied woodpecker or something like that. Or even a coyote call a lot of time to make one shot gobble. But these turkeys, when they hit the ground, they mostly strutting. All right, Harold, now you've told us what's going on in transition period number one. Now how am I going to hunt them in this transition? Well, what I like to do, David, is get as close to them as I can. Now you got to keep in mind, you don't have the foliage out that time of year in a lot of these states. I mean, you, your trees are bare, the woods is naked, and you sitting out there in front of a tree or, or moving in the woods, these turkeys can see you a lot better. Uh, you know, your uh, the calling, you call softer because a soft call sounds louder out there at that time of year than it does when all the foliage gets out. And what, you know, you can call, and a lot of times you need to try to call the hens. You know, try to call these hens up. Get aggressive with them and, and try to call the hens up by doing a lot of cutting. And a lot of times these hens will come in your direction, and whenever you've got the hen coming in your direction to you, the gobbler is going to follow it because all he's done is strutting and following that hen. Now, another good way to hunt these turkeys is the states where it allows you to hunt in the afternoon, put your blind up around some of these fields. These turkeys like to get out in these fields, especially in big flocks. They feel more uh, secure out there with a big flock than usually just one turkey. Everybody's looking out for one another. So put your blind up, maybe put your decoy up. Put decoys up and, and, and hunt in the afternoon and, do, and call to them. And uh, hopefully you can get the, the flock of turkeys coming in uh, around your decoys or something. It's gonna take a lot more patience, isn't it? Well, it takes more patience, but another thing that I always say in that first transition, learn to recognize and listen for a strut of a turkey. Well, now these turkeys, uh, there, there's a difference in time you're gonna call to them. For their, are you gonna call, you said call soft, then you said call aggressive. Are you gonna call soft to them when they're on the roost and then wait till they get aggressive right, on the ground? That's a good question. A lot of times when the turkeys are on the roost, uh, I'll wait to fly off the roost before I ever start calling, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. Cause you know when all these turkeys together, the gobbler's are gonna fly right to where the hens are and follow them. But uh, if I know where these turkeys are, I'll call to them you know, soft at first and then build my calling up. I'll use a lot of different calls. I'll use you know, several different calls. All right, folks, there you have it. That's transition period one. Join us next week as we talk about transition period number two.